The gentleman from Massachusetts is recognized for a two-minute opening statement. Last night, the Republican House passed a bill that would destroy the Advanced Technology Vehicle Loan Program and destroy the Renewable Energy Loan Guarantee Program and destroy thousands of jobs. They're being sold that there's going to be this green recovery that not only will subsidies for green jobs and uh, cap and trade and all these other programs, not only will these things save the planet, but at the same time it's going to give a shot in the arm to the economy because look at all these jobs we're going to create. And so who could possibly oppose that except somebody who you know, either hates human beings or is in the pay of uh, big oil? That Wall Street had no interest in financing. That's crazy. That uh, what that worldview would mean, and Tom alluded to this, is that you've got these greedy, uh, grasping business people, and all they care about is money, and all of their engineers and scientists and economists on staff have overlooked for decades the potential benefits of going green. And some bureaucrats and staff economists for government have come up with a way that these businesses can all make more money. And not only do the businesses not want to do the plan, I mean, because it's right there, if that's true, somehow, then it shouldn't take mandates that the government should just fax the plan to all the CEOs. And they say, oh, my gosh, there's millions of dollars here that we've been ignoring all these decades. Why don't we do this? But not only are the businesses ignoring this way to make money, but they're actually paying lobbyists to, to argue to the government, stop trying to force us to make more profit, right, because they're, they're, they're against these mandates. So that's the world that you have to have if you think that this green job program is going to be one that's going to promote uh, job growth and that's good for the economy in addition to saving the planet.